Good morning, Warriors. It's Coach Josh, and we are live at the quarantine zone. And that's Monday. We're going to do a hurricane today. And the, the, the hurricane is a category two, which means it's going to be focused on abs. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some swings. And I'm actually, today, if you have a kettlebell, great, you can use that. But I'm going to show you how to do kettlebell dumbbell swings. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to use your dumbbell in some new ways that might help you if you don't have a kettlebell uh, or a heavy enough kettlebell uh, at, at, around you, um, how you can use a dumbbell. So you can do both today. And then if you have a couch, that'll be great because we'll be doing some stretches on the ground and also using your couch as well. But the story for today is prom rescue. So uh, this, uh, I've got two feel good story, stories with prom involved. So. Uh, if you've been watching uh, John Krasinski's uh, Some Good News, he did a special where him and the Jonas Brothers hosted prom for all of the, uh, the seniors who couldn't have their prom this year. Uh, and it's a, it's a really, uh, it's a cute bit, very heartwarming, uh, which in just his whole theme of doing the news from his house at only sharing the good news, it's just a great, you know, it's, a, it's just a great, uh, it's, a, it's a great drop of happiness uh, in your day uh, to, to help, help warm your mind. Uh, but it also, uh, in the theme of everyday heroes, there are some prom heroes to, uh, to talk about a few years back from Davies, Florida. Uh, some seniors were on their way to prom and uh, they're, they're about almost 20 seniors taking a, a limo uh, together to, to the event and a Honda Odyssey uh, on the road had, had actually overturned. And they didn't see the accident, but the limo driver stopped and everybody got out of the car and went over to this Odyssey that was kind of looked like it had rolled. And so the doors were stuck, so they kicked open the doors and there was seven injured people inside of this Honda Odyssey that had been severely uh, lacerated and were, were pretty bad off and had to go to the hospital. So they pulled them out. Um, got them away from the wreck, and uh, obviously, you know, called 911, and an ambulance came um, to to take people to the hospital, and and, uh, and they spent about an hour with these uh, victims of this car accident, and then, and even though they were shaken up, they didn't have anything else to do, so they still went to prom, um, having a pretty exciting story to share, probably one that not very many kids get to get to have for their prom stories about rescuing people from an auto accident. Uh, on prom night. So uh, the everyday heroes sharing the good news, uh, rescuing people on your way to prom, but importantly just um, in, in the theme of what we're doing here at Training for Warriors, which is keeping your mind sharp, your body sharp, eating well, taking care of yourself well, and training so that uh, uh, when it comes your time to host your own news show, you have the physical capacity and the mental acuity to do that, uh, to do that well. So. Uh, speaking of which, let's get after it. it we're going to loosen up. I like to start with an inchworm because my hamstrings are always pretty darn tight. So I'm going to stand uh, hips width apart with my, my feet. I'm going to walk out into a plank. I'm going to lead with my hips on the way back. Let my biceps come up to my ears. Touch my toes with my hands. Come right back out. I'm going to do five inchworms. And I like to loosen up my shoulders here while I'm doing this too because I'm having to stretch overhead. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. I'm getting lots of feedback. That's okay. Just getting the body moving. Rock it and rolling. All right. Now that I'm a little bit stretched, I'm going to come over to my makeshift couch here. And I'm going to drop my pad on the ground. I'm going to put my knee on the floor. My shoelaces are going to rest on the couch itself. I'm going to open up my hip flexor this way by pushing down through the floor on the lead leg. I'm going to, that's going to help tilt my pelvis. Breathing into my belly so I'm keeping my abs active here, stabilizing the pelvis from the front. Whew, I'm already feeling this quite a bit. Now I'm going to reach up overhead. I'm going to grab my arm. I'm going to lean away from my hip. So I'm going to lean away, stretching out that rib cage, lat, using my breath, using that lead leg, still pushing down in the front. Whew. 
Getting a lot out of that stretch today. <sighs> Taking five breaths here. I've got two more big ones in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Ah, oh. yes. Coming back, dropping. Pushing through that lead foot again, so now I'm on the opposite leg. Pushing through, reaching up. Wow. Reaching over, pushing through. We're trying to take about five breaths. You might be breathing a little faster. You might be breathing a little slower. That's okay. Opening up that lat. Oh man, so good. And then I'm going to relax. All right. Now we're going to continue to loosen up that groin and hip area. We're going to be doing a lot of abs today. So I want to make sure we're, we're ready to go. So I'm going to go into Alexa, turn it down. A, a double lunge, a deep lunge. I'm going to come out, touching the inside of my ankle with my hand or my wrist, and I'm going to walk forward. All the way out, all the way back in, all the way out, all the way back in. Oh. And then I'm going to add in a thoracic spine rotation, le reaching up, stretching out that hamstring, groin on that lead leg, on the trail leg, we're stretching out that adductor. We're going to do five on each side. Rotating, I'm going to do one more on each side. Ha. Yes. That's exactly what I needed today. Oh. Coming back up. Again, we're really going to work on those hamstrings. So we're going to do on the ground. I'm going to get my mat out. My ground's a little hard. We're gonna get into a long lunge and we're gonna do a world's greatest stretch. I'm gonna drop my elbow down to the, to the heel, take a breath. I'm gonna grip my toe and then I'm gonna lock out my leg. Ow! Back to the world's greatest stretch, plant, switch sides. World's greatest stretch. Oh, I don't know why this is so effective. Feel that in the hamstring of my lead leg. Back leg is straight, gripping the toe, locking out. Yeah. Exciting. Switch. We're going to do that again. Elbow to the to heel to their elbow to the heel of the lead leg, gripping the toe. Exhale. Ow. If you can lock out that knee, you're doing great. It's okay if you can't, you can still feel it. I know you can, because I still feel it. Reaching down, gripping that toe. Ah. Woo All right. So whenever we do those uh, bent knee to straight knee uh, hamstring at work, we're really focusing on the lower hamstring and it's really valuable for things like sprints, squats, any sort of big movement that's active. And that way, it's really good to do those lower leg, uh, lower hamstring stretches. All right. So we're gonna continue to uh, warm up the hinge and the swing. 
So today we're going to be doing a hurricane, and as our, as our primary metabolic drive, we're going to begin every circuit with a set of swings. So if you have a kettlebell at home, you probably like doing swings because that's what a kettlebell is designed for. You can do uh, a, a swing with a dumbbell as well, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So today I'm going to do my swings with a dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell, just use your kettlebell like you would normally. But if you have a, a dumbbell, follow along with me. So we're going to still warm up the hinge pattern like we always do, standing in front of the, the, the implement. I'm going to reach my butt back. I'm going to touch the head of my dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell, you'll touch the handle, which you're going to reach back and forth, squeezing the glutes, driving the hips forward. I'm going to do 10 reps here. My goal is to keep that chest above the hip let the hip travel from back to front as I contract the glute like I'm trying to crack a walnut with my butt cheeks. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stand over it and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Touch, explode, touch, explode, touch, explode. So warming up that hinge, feeling this with my hamstrings. I'm very sore from my sprints yesterday, so I'm enjoying that. Doing my 10 reps, getting ready. Now we're going to do a deadlift. So this is going to introduce some weight to this situation. So I have my uh, dumbbell in front of me. I'm going to grip the head of it. Stand up, set it down. So I'm just still reaching that butt back, chest is up. Exhaling as I drive my glutes forward into my wrists, into my forearms here. Really finishing strong. Pow. Boom. Bam. Yeah. Whew. Doesn't take much. Okay, so we've done some deadlifts. Now, if you have a kettlebell, then you'll know that you need to stand behind it, tilt it towards you, throw it at your groin. If you have a dumbbell, it's going to work a little bit differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grip hand over hand. So I'm going to Grab my dumbbell with one hand. I'm going to wrap my other hand around my grip. So I've got a double grip. I'm standing tall. And I'm, I am going to pendulum. So I'm going to hinge and then I'm going to fire it out. Fire it out. I'm going to create that swinging action just like I have with a kettlebell. Firing it through. So I'm going to do 10 reps here. Squeezing the glutes. Driving forward, and then I'm going to set it down. So, with a dumbbell, it's not designed for the swing the way that a kettlebell is. It's harder to manage the grip. It, uh, your thighs will slap your wrists. That will challenge your, your hold on the dumbbell. So you can't be as powerful or as violent. As violent. That's okay. But if you have dumbbells at home, it does mean that you have an opp opportunity to train some good, good, uh, good swings with your weights. So we're going to do one more warm-up set, and then we're going to get into our hurricane. Uh, so do one more, one more round of 10 swings, and then we're going to uh, practice our drills for, for today. So I want to see butt back, chest up, reaching back, firing through. Swinging that kettlebell or that dumbbell, heavy or light, driving up, exhaling, pushing out the air from your face, do pursed lips, and then send it back down. Now that you're nice and warm, uh, we're going to look at our ab drills for today. So we're going to start with swings. Then we're going to go into the alt leg V-up and the grasshopper. So the alt leg V-up and the grasshopper both require some stretching and some mobility from your body. So here I am on the ground. And alt leg V-up, I'm going to kick up towards the sky, touch the shoelace. That's one. So if shoulders are off the ground, two. I'm just going to do five reps here to warm it up. Three. Four, 
and five. Following that, we're going to do grasshoppers. So I'm in the mountain climber position. Push it through the pinkies. Drive out. Shins vertical, right next to that wrist. That's one. That's two. So, so I'm just alternating. Three. Four. And five. So that's, this is one that Bob really likes. Joe G really likes. I know that uh, uh, I've got a lot of fans with uh, Juliana and Cassandra really like that one. It's a nice stretch. Get your abs going. So swing, go right into your alt leg V-ups, right into your grasshoppers, and then you're going to rest for about 30 seconds. Get a sip of water, whatever you need. Then you're going to start your, your circuit again. So there's three exercises, the swing, the alt leg V-up, the grasshopper, and we'll go through it three times. So you don't have to wait for me. You can go faster or slower than me if you want. But we're going to do it together. Starting with, the, with 10 swings, 10 alt leg V-ups on each side, 10 grasshoppers on each side. In three, two, one, and we're off. Swinging, firing through. It's been a long time since I've done a dumbbell swing. This is fun. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's very similar in position to a deadlift. Now that I think about it, so back here. One, all leg V ups. Make sure that quad stays locked. We're going to worrying about it as we go. Three, four, loving it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grasshoppers. Oh man. One, two, three. Making sure that foot gets flat. Not just hitting on the toe, not finishing. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, Reba, getting after it. What I like about those, Reba, and I think you do too, is it forces you to stretch. That pelvis is moving to two different directions, getting those lower abdominals, those internal obliques, that uh, TVA, all that stuff is working. Not to mention you're stabilizing here upper body with your hands. Really good stuff. 30 seconds back to the top. Doing those 10 swings, 10 V-ups, 10 grasshoppers. I'm always, I'm always ready. Going back to the beginning. Moving. One, two, three, four. Make sure your feet stay flat. So don't let your toes come up when you're swinging. Nine. Bob, I'm thinking about you. 10. Alt leg V up. Coming back down. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Whew. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six, six. This is so good for me. Nine, nine, ten, ten. Ha <laughs> ha, ha. All right. 
And then grasshoppers, going right into that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Heart rate is climbing. Muy caliente. Oh. All right, we're warmed up now. Second round done. Going into the third round. Last set. Best set indeed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, my God. So much fun. Grasshoppers. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, ten. Yes, so good. All right, second circuit, more swings. Wonderful. In addition to that, we're gonna do some fun drills that uh, I was taught a long time ago by my friend Deanne, uh, called a side crunch. So, side crunch looks like this. You're gonna be propped up, hand here behind your head, and you're gonna take your knees, you're gonna lift them, Touch them to your elbow, boom, boom. So you're gonna go, lifting up the knees, kind of doing a crunch, but against gravity from the side. So we're gonna do 10 per side, on the right and the left. Then we're gonna do 20 bicycles. What these look like, on the ground, you're pedaling, your shoulder blades are off the ground, your feet are off the ground, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll do 20 bicycles that way. So it's 20 per side. I don't know if you caught that, but uh, the reason why uh, uh, there's some discrepancies, some people want credit for every single thing they do, but really it only counts when you do one on each side. So only for tests do, does Coach Josh dole out credit for reps on each side. All right. So we're going to swing, do crunches, and then uh, bicycle crunches. From the top, starting in three, two, one, boom. 
two, three, chest up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Putting that down. Down to the mat. On the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You balance it on your hip bone, on your butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back on your back for the bicycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ha, 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 ha. All right. You know, it's funny. You write a couple of ab exercises on the board, it doesn't seem like much. And then you string it together in a sequence and it becomes not only high intensity interval training, but just a pain in the ass to do. Fun stuff. All right, second round. Remember, you can be tired, you just can't act tired. Get your 30 seconds of rest or 45 or whatever you need and then get back into the game. Coach Josh, I'm doing a lot of talking, so I feel like I've fully recovered now. We'll see how it goes. Back to the swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Moving on to the side crunch. On the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, bicycles. Where am I going? Get some love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ha! All right. That is exciting stuff. Make sure you got your water with you. Drinking that water. We're using up all the core muscles, all the big muscles in the center of your body, lats, glutes, abs. So make sure you're hydrating to, uh, to allow those muscles to recover. I'm gonna drink some water right now. Okay, this is, uh, this is perfect. This is right where I wanted to be. I wanted to feel like I was really working, doing, doing a bunch of exercises. I don't love training abs as a coach, but I do see the benefit of it for my conditioning. So I'm excited, excited to get more good reps in. Let's finish strong. Last set, third round. Final set of the second set, second circuit, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha! Yes. All right. Side crunch. Drop it down. Make it look good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank <sighs> you. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! So good. All right, supine bicycle. As I get, as I get through this training, from this training, I realize how much I need just a little bit of pressure. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ha! Woohoo! Just a little bit of pressure, a little, dis little bit of discomfort helps move me forward. All right, we've got one more round. We're gonna do the swings again. Then we're gonna do the reverse crunch. We're gonna do the reverse crunch and then we're gonna do plank dips from the side. The reverse crunch, you're on your back. So I'm here, if you wanna make it challenging, you can put your fingertips by your ears. So I'm here, just bringing the knees up to the elbows, keeping your shoulder blades on the ground. You can get a little bit of help by pushing off the ground down here. So choose your own adventure on the reverse crunch. Then the side plank dip, we're here. Up high, touch, up high, touch, up high, touch. So we're gonna do 10 dips on each side. Really working on the lateral fibers of the glute, obliques, all those wonderful things. All right, it's the final round, it's the final stretch. Or it's the final circuit, it certainly isn't the final round. But let's get after it, warriors. Starting in three. One, and go. Boom. Boom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha. Back to the abs. It's been so long since I've done abs. This is good. It's been like 10, 15 seconds. Okay. On the ground, doing my reverse crunch. One, two, three. I'm not rolling up on my neck, just the shoulders. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <sighs> Side plank, you're here. Up, down, one, two, three, four, five, head back, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. Trying to be in a straight line, trying not to be crooked. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I see some people just going right into it. Awesome. Finish strong. Challenge yourself. If your uh, heart rate's not there yet, no worries. Get some water. Take a break. We're gonna go from this final circuit into our dessert. So you gotta have energy, you gotta have a little, little bit of gasoline to get home. All right, I'm going on my second round. Dropping through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse crunches, dropping in on it. One, two, Selena, when you're doing this, don't forget you can grab your couch, your anchor, you can hold your weight right here. 
so that you have a little bit of counterbalance so you get a little bit higher, a little bit more motion. 10 reps. Got on the left side, straight line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, keep that head back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Feeling that, feeling that shakiness sort of sit on me or come to me. So I'm trying not to train to where I'm dizzy, I'm trying not to train to where my reps aren't good. I'm pushing myself, but I also have to check in, take a breath. So it's our third round. So remember, remember your finish. I got this. If it's gonna be, it's up to me. If anybody can do it, it's me. Halusa. 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 All right, finish strong, warriors. Get it, finish strong. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do some swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy cow, I love, I love language puns, especially ones with fins. If you wanna win, bring a fin. That's not really a, a fun, that's more of a poem. Coming back to the reverse crunch. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side planks. Head back, straight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. One, two, finish strong. Three, four, five, six, almost home. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. So, as you wrap up your exercises, don't forget dessert. 20 squats, 10 knee grabs, 20 swimmers. Why so many squats? Why so many swimmers? One, we don't want to forget what we've learned. Two, they're very demanding exercises, the squat. So by doing that, we're pumping a lot of blood, building muscle, encouraging muscle to be built with your reps. Muscles respond really well to volume. That's time under tension. More reps, more time under tension. I'm doing my 20 now. Chest up, rib cage in a pillar, dropping down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. So, 20 squats, rolling into your 10 knee grabs. 10 knee grabs. Shoulder blades touch the ground. Gripping the shin. Going right back. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> the swimmer, working on that upper back, training those posterior chain muscles, the posture. Eyes 12 inches in front of you, hands splayed apart, fingers splayed apart. Bring the elbows into the pockets of the hip. Shoulders are drifting up and down. Five, six, seven, eight. Try not to swing. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ha! 20 reps. Nice work, everybody. Wow, we did a lot of stuff today. So, we got to swing with a dumbbell. You can kind of get really creative here in this time. You could do a lot with a little. If you just put your mind to it. And, uh, and, and look, look at what you can do. Just like those kids in prom on the way to uh, prom in Davies, Florida. Just like John J Chris, Chris Cal Krasinski, the guy from The Office. Just like that guy from The Office who uh, made a great news show in his living room. Repurposing what, he, what you got. Make something good out of it. Being a hero by showing up. Continuing to do that. Show up for yourself, family, community and bring forth the warrior within. <laughs> good to see you every morning. That's right. It, it is good to see me, Bob. It, it really is.